your speculation of the other day turned out to be correct? Well, I know meteorologist Matt is not really <laughs> not too thrilled. happy tonight that no. it did happen. Lou Holtz, his golden gopher coach that he said was going to turn the program around there. Well, he did a bit, but Don't he didn't tell. have much time. He only had two years there, and now he's gone to Notre Dame. Tradition at Notre Dame says as soon as one coach leaves, you find another one as soon as possible. Well, it didn't take him too long. Jerry Faust left yesterday. Today, Minnesota coach Lou Holtz was given that much sought after position. Holtz has always wanted to coach at Notre Dame. In fact, he had a clause in his contract at Minnesota that said he could leave the Golden Gophers for the Fighting Irish at any time. No doubt he's happy at South Bend, but he says don't expect any miracles. I'm not a miracle worker. I'm not a genius. I don't lay any belief in the fact that we are going to be successful because I'm here. There's great parity in college football today, and while we do have fine athletes here, other schools have fine athletes, and the margin between winning and losing is very small. Holt still has one more game with Minnesota. That's the Independence Bowl against Clemson. Faust will coach the Irish on Saturday against number four Miami. Once again, it's going to be past the pumpkin pie and the pigskin tomorrow on Thanksgiving. A couple of football games set to go in the morning. Both will be televised. Jets travel to the Silverdome to take on the Detroit Lions. That's a 9.30 kickoff. New York is favored by three there. And in Texas Stadium, it's the Cowboys and the Cardinals. Dallas can clinch its 20th consecutive winning season with a victory, but they're thinking about playoffs right now. The Cardinals are riding out the season. Cowboys are a two-touchdown favorite there. That game starts at 1 o'clock. The biggest welterweight fight since Sugar Ray Leonard and Tommy Hearns went at it four years ago is just about set to go. Donald Cobra Curry against Milton Iceman McCrory takes place December 6th at the Hilton. They're calling this one the toss-up. Both fighters are current champs, so to decide who goes into the ring first and how many rounds the fight will go, who gets home field advantage, and who has to kick off, what they're going to do is just toss a coin here like they did there. Today, Curry won the toss and chose to enter the ring last. Afterwards, Curry said he's ready to go on the 6th. I'm very ready. Uh, I've been training six and a half weeks now. Uh, I'm physically, mentally in shape. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely ready. I can fight tomorrow. But this fight December 6th is a very a big fight for me because I always play second fiddle to everybody. But this chance is, but this time it's for me to stand on top of the world and to show that Milman Curry is the best fighter in welterweight division. This fight figures to be the last for both fighters in that welterweight division. They had a hard time making the 147-pound weight limit. Now, although promoters are calling this fight a toss-up, bookmakers don't feel it is. Curry is a 3-to-1 favorite. And, of course, tonight will be the biggest fight in the history of the world. Rocky meets the mad Russian Ivan Drago. They say this fight takes place in the Soviet Union. Folks here in Vegas, of course, know better. It was actually at the MGM Hotel. Sources close to both fighters tell me Rocky has the advantage going in because he is so close to the movie's director, Sylvester Stallone. Rocky IV premieres tonight. I can hardly wait. Cardinal speedster Vince Coleman is the runaway winner of the National League Rookie of the Year Award tonight. Coleman set a rookie record with 110 stolen bases. That's the third highest total ever. He also batted 267. Coleman was a unanimous choice. Pitcher Tom Browning of the Reds was also a unanimous choice, but for second place. It's sort of interesting how Coleman made it to the majors this year. Cardinal center fielder Willie McGee got hurt very early in the season. Coleman was called up to fill in. Now Coleman gets Rookie of the Year. McGee, of course, has already won the MVP. The Cardinals indeed will be hard to catch next year with those two speedsters on the base pass. Should be interesting. No, no prediction, though, about uh, the McCrory fight, other than it's going to be a good one. Oh, well, Curry's going to be the favorite, so I'll go with that. I could make a prediction on the Rocky Drago no. fight if you'd be interested in that one. No, no prediction there. That one, I'm, I'm pretty definite on who's going to win that, but we're going to let the storyline go. because I'd, I'd hate to blow it for anybody. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ron, still to come on News 13 early.